Howdy y'all, and welcome back to another video. Today I have a short, easy photo editing tutorial where I discuss how I add the sun's glow into a photo. Now you're not always gonna be able to use this, so I'm gonna show you what I do to determine whether or not it would actually enhance the photo or not. So let's jump into Lightroom. All right, so we are in Lightroom here. Now you don't have to use Lightroom. Uh, any software that has a radial filter function like it is up here, uh, will allow you to add the glow, at least in the way that I do it. I'm sure there's more than one way. Anyways, right now, all I've done for this photo, I didn't even change the color profile. All I did was some basic raw processing edits with the highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. And then I did add a little bit of sharpening and noise reduction because the ISO was at 360. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to really zoom out from the picture because you're going to be making the radial filter pretty big. So then I'm gonna come over, select the radial filter, and then I'm just gonna start dragging it out. And don't worry, you can always make more adjustments to it. I know it might seem way bigger than it needs to be, but I'm telling you the bigger it is, I think the more subtle the effect is and sort of blends into the whole photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag it here for now drop it off there. But then I like to zoom back into the photo full size before I start editing it, uh, because obviously it's gonna give you a more accurate picture. And before I start making any other adjustments, I do bring the feather all the way up to 100, and I go ahead and invert it. And this means that the effects that you're changing are going inside the circle and not on the outside. And the feather is gonna allow it to just be this nice, easy transition into the photo. So the first thing that I usually do is I'll start bringing up the exposure a little bit until it kind of looks like a bright light over here. And then I'll always add in some warmth as well. And once again, there's no exact science that I have to this. I just sort of play around with it until I get what I want. But the kind of secret thing that I do, if you will, is I love to drop the dehaze and the clarity. And this essentially gives you this glow going on over here. So now when I turn off the radial filter, you can see it just sort of goes back to an even image. And when I turn it back on, you have this light. Now, like I said in the beginning, I don't do this on every photo. So in this particular case, I remembered, you know, the sun was setting and it just sort of naturally already had sunlight hitting the image. Like if you look at the rocket zoomed in over here, you can see that on the right side of the rocket here, there, there's the sun's light bouncing off of the rocket. Same with all of the clouds down here. So by adding this glow, it just sort of enhances the picture instead of taking anything away from it. But that's all I got. Really simple, really easy. Maybe you could start using this with some of your photos if you're trying to add a little bit more depth and give your viewers a little bit more to look at. If you got anything on this tutorial, please leave a like, leave a comment if you have any questions. Please share it with anyone else that you might feel like would benefit from it. And consider subscribing if this is the kind of thing that you're into. And until the next one, see ya.